A travel nurse from Tulare is now battling a life-threatening infection in a local ICU after he suddenly collapsed. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco spoke with his father tonight and a nursing friend who fills us in on how he's doing. Myra? Liz, it has been an intense week for the family and the nursing community rallying behind 35-year-old Sean Manez. He was flown to CRMC Tuesday and is currently on life support. His father says he is doing slightly better, which is a good thing. At one point, he says doctors believe his son was not going to make it. He's dedicated to whatever he does. He likes, he's, he, he loves to learn things. He loves to go places. Just two weeks ago, Sean Michael Manis of Tulare climbed Half Dome with a group of his nursing friends. He's a travel nurse himself with a specialty in the ICU. His father, Richard, says he was perfectly healthy, worked out a lot, ran a lot, and loved helping others. But things took a turn Sunday when he needed the help. Richard says his son's roommate found him in his room unconscious. He was rushed to the ER. When they flew him up here, it was like, oh God, he's going to be on that machine, and that, and then he's going to end up dying on it because that's is more likely to happen than not. And uh, when they postponed it the first day, it was like, okay, I, we we came up and sat with him most of the day. He says Sean's blood pressure has dropped extremely low. He told me it hurt so much to breathe that he wanted to quit breathing. That's how much pain he was in before they put, gave him the paralytics and made him unconscious. Richard says at first, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. They ran many tests. The only thing he knew was that his son wasn't feeling well days before he collapsed. We were going to go to a movie that day, and he uh, called and says, I'm going to have to beg out on the movie. And I said, okay, what's wrong? He says, well, I think I got COVID. And so he said, I'm just going to try and sleep it through like he did last time. Instead, doctors diagnosed him with MRSA, pneumonia, and sepsis just after his dad says he received his last rites by a priest. MRSA is a staph infection that is difficult to treat because of its resistance to some antibiotics. Richard says doctors began treatment right away. He's been uh, getting a little bit better each day. It's like going to, like taking a 20 mile run. He liked to run and uh, doing it an inch at a time. <laughs> and he's, he made, made a couple inches yesterday and they're working on a couple more today. He says even though he is looking at a long recovery, they are blessed he is in good hands. Mostly you just I appreciate prayers, all the prayers you can give. I, I have trust in God or he wouldn't have made it this far. Richard also tells me Sean was in the process of going back to to school to become an anesthesiologist. But with the medical expenses, you can imagine the financial hardship he will now face. Liz, the nursing community rallying behind him, has created a GoFundMe fundraiser to help pay for medical bills. One friend tells me Sean is a type of person who would give the shirt off his back for someone in need. That's just the person he is, and that's how they describe him. And Myra, it's so wild to think that again, just days before, here he was on this you know, massive adventure outdoors and now he's in a hospital. We certainly hope that he gets better soon. All right. Thank you so much, Myra. And if you'd like to help, you can also find that fundraiser up on our website on the story that'll be up at KMPH.com. Want to see more stories like this? Watch Great Day weekday mornings from 5 to 10 and Fox 26 News at 10.